Hello. So I'm behind the scenes here, clearly. So I'm gonna be doing some videos today that I have to do for you guys, and I'm doing it completely on my own, solo. I'm like my own hand solo, right? And I thought it would be a good time to come in here and show you where I'm at. So what I've been doing is I'm gonna, I put on, you see, I got the extra heavy makeup on. Still have the Velcro rollers, even though they're falling out, but that's okay, because I don't want it bouffanty. I just want a little bounce. So for just a little bounce, I kind of blow my hair out, and then I stick the Velcros in, um, and just it kind of just holds them in place, and it gives me a little bit more volume. But I wanted to come in here um, just to kind of give you an idea. First of all, when you're doing your own headshots or you're doing your own video, you really don't need as many lights as I have on me right now. And they're not good on this live video. They look really pretty in the photo. They look really pretty on video. But when they're going on Facebook now, they're really strong and overpowering and they're not very good. So when you're doing your lighting, keep in mind that the way the light comes across on just your headshots on your phone on just really, you know, cool elevated selfies that we all need, or if it comes across on um, just doing a regular video is one thing, but the depth of the, the photo, the frame of the photo on Facebook, it brings it closer to you and it has something that makes it much more harsh. So keep that in mind when you're doing these videos. Um, Actually, I would have done them earlier, which is one light and natural light. I didn't get around to that today. So being we had more of these lights up for something else, I just decided to use them. So you don't need fancy lights, although I'm definitely using fancy lights now because I have them. What you should do if you're doing your own photos is kind of either get the ring light, which, um, let me try to do this. Let me, let me talk you through this. So that's the ring light, which is a really good beauty light. But I also really like this. See this little dual baby? It's called a broadcasting light and um, it's like 39 bucks. And it's awesome because you can do it if you're standing up. See, look how atrocious that light is on me right now. So if you're standing up, you could put your phone right in it and it will light you from below and above, which is always really good. And then I have a soft box light there and I have a soft box light there. The one that way is acting as a hair light, so it'll have a light above me. The one over there is actually lit on the background, so you can see my little um, ampersand and Basquiat, and the, which I actually got at a real party where he was there. If it was left, I took it. It's my Basquiat. And then that um, red slice chair behind me. So you could, it, the light is just, and my, my column and the silver. So that light is really just to show the depth of focus in here, the depth of field of the expanse of the room. So the other thing you need to keep in mind when you're doing these kind of videos or photos for yourself, is this setup was done, we were using a real camera. Michael B was here and we were using his camera. Now, on a real lens, God, this light is atrocious. Trust me, it looks really good when it's not on Facebook. So when you're using a real camera, you got all this expanse behind me and I am exactly in the same spot now as I was then. So keep in mind that when you're on Facebook, the depth and the proportion around you is going to be different on just using your phone as opposed to using a good camera. Now, if you wanna zhuzh up your supplies, your, your, your equipment, what you can do is get something, I think it's called a black magic, and hook up a camera to your Facebook Lives. It's way too much for me, but it would give you a much nicer um, shot than what we have right now. Just like even just simply using my phone will give a better shot. I'll put up a headshot, a photo I did below so you can see how much nicer the light is. The other thing is I'm just using a, a tripod and it's um, a selfie stick tripod. It's got three little legs on it. <clears throat> I have, if you could tell, I have a chair there and 
I have a chair there. So what it is, is I originally thought I could use my higher um, counter chair, my higher bar stool, and that didn't work. So I'm on my old lower counter chair. So I guess we have regular kitchen counter and bar stool height. I know there's a name for it. I don't know it. So reg regular kitchen counter height and a selfie stick, which is like 18 bucks on Amazon, does the trick. Oh, that light is terrible. Oh, terrible. Does does the trick for really setting yourself up. And the other thing to keep in mind is that's really good if you're doing photos, headshots, or you're actually recording a video. Sometimes it's a little janky on videos, but it's really good on photos, is to get a little automatic shutter. So um, right now, see if it works on live. It doesn't. But if I was actually here, so that way you could be hands-free. So you could set yourself up with just a light in front of you or use natural light from a window or um, if you're outside or if you wanna get one of those little add-on selfie lights to your camera. But if you're doing these kind of things, doing it during the day, you don't need all this extra stuff if you're in a really bright, <coughs> excuse me, space. Now, I'm in New York now and um, it's, what time is it? It's like 4.30. But when I was doing a lot of videos in California and I was doing them just outside, I needed nothing. I just had the beautiful light and I used um, golden hour just before the sun sets when it's really pretty and I had everything I need by just being outside in beautiful light. In New York in the winter right now, you know, you need more. And again, these lights look really pretty on video. They don't look great now. But I just wanted to come in here and share that with you and, um, you know, a sh little shutter. They don't cost much. This one came with my selfie stick. It's really great to help you along with your videos. So I hope that helps. I got to go put on real clothes and take my hair out and bust a move here and get a couple of these things done. So I hope that it helps you in everything you're doing. Again, you know, I'm Sharon Haver and, and entrepreneurs come to me for um, help when they realize their expertise is not enough to stand out in a crowded market that you really do need to, to embrace and step into your star power so you could look the best aspirational self to have stay visually on message as well as have a written message a brand message and awareness because it all goes together your style is your fingerprint for everything you do it's not just what you wear it's how you present yourself it's your knowledge it's the whole package that sets you above the crowd that sets you above being ordinary has you being extraordinary and positions you to be a leader and, and positions you in a way that people want to listen to what you have to say. And when they buy into you as a person and they get to know you in your most authentic self, what'll happen is they'll buy into you. So then you can actually um, turn your expertise into really making a very nice living, helping others with exactly what you know. So one more thing, guys. If you really need more help, I've got this incredible free challenge going on right now. It's called the Authentic Superstar Challenge. So if you go to AuthenticSuperstar.com, you can get in on the challenge. Totally free five videos from me helping you get started in everything you know to position yourself and your brand to create the look you need to be able to take your own photos authentically show up in your social media feed show up on all your website images show up i even did my own photos for my book cover so once you got the skills once you got the light the composition the mood the inspiration the visual message you could do it yourself and be real and be authentic and sometimes being authentic means you need to zhuzh it up just a tad like a pair of false eyelashes some people wear these every day I only wear them when I got a camera involved. So anyway, guys, hope that helps you. AuthenticSuperstar.com. This is my background setup. Now I got to go put on the nicer top, brush out my hair, and get ready to record some videos for you. And I promise you the light will be a lot better. Let me know what you need if you enjoy this as much as I enjoy making it for you. Hey, share it with a friend. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.